everybody. Welcome to your total body microformer workout. We are going to get started with your upper body first. All right. You need one black spring on, one light spring. I know some people out there, you have gray springs, which are medium. Know that whenever we're doing like two black, that you're probably going to do a gray and a white if you've got a super light or possibly a gray and a black, okay? So I know that everybody's got different springs. If you ever have questions about the springs, just hit me up on Instagram and I can clear some things up for you, all right? We're going to get started on that one black spring in a reverse cobra. So you're sort of working your abs, but you're also working those arms. Okay, hands are going to be together on that padded part of your carriage, and your knees are going to be on that front platform. Ready? It's like a wheelbarrow and a bending of the elbows had a baby. In three, two, let's do it. So hips and butt stay down. As the hands go out, both elbows drop down. And then as the hands come in, both left elbows lift up. If you want to make this harder, you can go to one super light white spring or zero springs, right? Good. You're not bending the elbows first, right? You shift the hands out first, and then you bend the elbows down, either all the way down or halfway down, and then lift it up. Good. Keep the belly button pulled up and in. We're going to go 45 seconds here, then we're going to do variable surface push-ups. Good. So one hand will be on the carriage. One hand will walk out to the side of the carriage on the floor. You'll push up, both hands back to the carriage, and then the other hand walks out to the side of the carriage on the floor. Push up. On your knees or on your toes, I'm going to do this on my knees. Good, we're there in eight. Variable surface push-ups. In four, three, two, left hand on the carriage, right hand on the floor, push-up. And then bring the carriage in maybe a little bit, walk your right hand over, left hand over, push-up. So you're just alternating that push up to the right and to the left, hips and butt stay down. Good guys, take your time with it. Elbows go wide. Yes. Good, if you're on zero springs, be careful. The carriage is gonna move easily. Yeah. Nice. One hand up on the carriage, one hand down on the floor, wide elbows, push up. Good, switchy, switchy. Let's go 45 seconds here. Then we're gonna go two black springs or one gray, if you've got a gray, or one gray, one white, right? We're gonna go for a chest opener. Good. We're there in 25. Knees on the floor, over to the left side of your machine. In 15. Good. Keep your variable surface push-ups going for another 10. Two black springs in five, facing the front. Four, three, two. Amazing, everybody. So two black springs. Knees are going to be over to the left side of your front platform on the floor. Broken toe position so that you're not totally like crooked. Sitting up nice and tall, ready? Right hand starts and stops in line with your hip. Chest opener. Good, really open the heart, open the chest, close. Sitting up nice and tall. I know you can't really see my right arm or my right hand, but just my fingertips are kind of curled against the edge of the carriage closest to the front platform. And I'm just taking my right hand behind my butt and then stopping it in line with my butt. From here, you can scoot up to make it easier. 
scoot back to make it harder. Just keep the right fingertips curled around the edge of the carriage and really initiate this from the mid back on the right side. Good. Open the heart, open the chest, close. You're gonna hold it back in three, two, hold the right hand back behind the butt. Hold it, hold it. Good, you go back to normal in three, two, back to normal. Amazing, 45 seconds, guys. And you're gonna keep the two black. We're gonna do a one-arm wheelbarrow. Yes, you're working a little ab, but you're getting into that right lat, right arm. Right hand can either kind of be to the side of your platform or more to the center. You're gonna have to adjust as needed. It's a one-arm wheelbarrow. So you wanna keep that two black on for extra support because it's gonna be more of a pushing away exercise, less of a pulling. We're there in five. Good, four, three, two, awesome. So right hand to the side of your front platform or to the front uh, center, whatever feels best, you're gonna have to see. Just one minute here, left hand behind your back. You're just gonna push that right arm out and then pull yourself forward. See how my hips and butt are down, especially my left hip pointing down towards the ground. Okay, you wanna roll your left hip open, but try to point that left hip down. Good, bring yourself forward nice and slow. It's a little different. Only here for like 30 more seconds and we're gonna go right into the other arm wheelbarrow and then other arm chest opener. Then we're gonna hit that cobra and that variable surface push up again. And then we're gonna go into your obliques different order, okay? And then your leg, your abs, and then your other leg. In five, left hand comes down, same thing you're doing now. Four, three, two, now left hand down, right hand behind the back. Square the hips, especially the right hip, point it down. Good, you're gonna feel a little crooked, right? You're working that left shoulder, left lat, and the abs, because the butt and the hips stay down. Good. Take it back slow. Same thing as a wheelbarrow, it's just one arm. And then forward slow. Beautiful. 30 seconds, you're over to the right side of your machine. Broken toe kneeling position for that chest opener. That's it everybody. Working the arms a little differently today. In 10. Good, last five, four, three, two. Awesome, let's head over to the left side here. Left fingertips on the edge of the carriage. Uh, scoot forward easier, scoot back harder. Ready, hit it. Left hand is gonna start and stop in line with your hip. You can see it a little bit more on this side. Good, really squeeze that left shoulder head back. Just my fingertips are curled around the front edge of the carriage. Left wrist is straight and strong. Mm -hmm. Chest opener. And again, really initiating from that left armpit, left lat. Scoot forward easier, scoot back harder. Awesome, we're gonna hold this back in five, four, three, two, hold it back for me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, good. You're gonna go back to normal in three, two, back to normal, good. Yes, I might have said we were gonna do that cobra and variable surface push-up again, but we're not. JK, 
We're going into your obliques. In 40 seconds, you're gonna be on one black spring. You're gonna be on the right side of your machine at the back facing the front. Feet on the floor, hands on the carriage. So you're kind of crooked. We're gonna do a giant crooked bear pike to plank. We're there in 15. Good, keep hitting that chest opener. This is it for your upper body. One block spring, guys, in five, four, three, two, awesome. One block, done with those arms. Take your feet over to the right, but you're still at the back here. Feet to the right, hands on the carriage over to the left, so you're crooked. One bend, one pike. Ready? Three, two. You don't have to bend your knees any direction because you're crooked. So bend the knees in. They kind of angle to the right wrist. Kick the legs out. And then pike the hips up. So you're crooked working that left oblique. Scoot your feet back as needed, especially if you're close to hitting that front platform. Good, heels are high, legs are straight, arms are straight. So good, everybody. Let's go 30 seconds. Then we're gonna keep our hands on the carriage. Right knee stacks on top of the left knee on the back platform for a twisted wheel. We're there in 10. Then we'll do these same two moves facing the back, then we'll get you off your wrist. In five, feel free to do the twisted wheel on the elbows if you need to. Four, three, two, awesome. So knees are gonna be down. Right knee stacks on top of the left knee. Ready, twisted wheel. So just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. Your left oblique is kind of pointing down towards the ground. Shoulders are square to the front. Hips and butt stay down. Good. Now in 30 seconds, we're gonna do that reverse giant crooked bear pike to plank for your left oblique. Hands will be over to the right side of your machine facing the back. Feet will be on the carriage. You'll be a crooked line. You'll give me one bending of the knees, one piping of the hips. In four, good, three, two, let's do it. So hands to the right side of your back platform, feet are over to the left. Is that right? I think so, yeah. One bending, one piping, ready guys, three, Two, or I think it's the other side for the left oblique. Sorry. So hands, hands over to the right, feet to the left. Ready? That's right. Let's do it. Hands to the left. Sorry. Hands to the left of your back platform, feet to the right. I always get confused. And then pike. Working that left oblique. Good. So hands to the left side of your back platform on the floor, feet are kind of over to the right on the carriage. One bending of the knees. Kick the legs out, and then one pike of the hips. Good. 30 seconds here, then hands go to your back platform. Right knee stacks on top of the left knee. You got that twisted wheelbarrow facing the back. Again, if you need to get off the wrist, I get it. Do the same action on your elbows. We are gonna get you seated next. In five, four, three, two, amazing. Right knee on top of left knee. Ready, twisted wheel. Let's do it. Right knee on top of left knee. Still working that left oblique, hinge back, hinge forward. Yes. Even though the knees are stacked Try and keep those shoulders square to the back. Good. 
Now this one is a cashew crunch. Now you're gonna sit on your right fleshy part of your butt cheek. Left foot sort of crosses over the right foot. Feet are gonna be hooked underneath of your back platform. And we're kind of gonna lean back and do a side crunch. Kind of like a cashew crunch. Just make sure that you're rolled over on the fleshy part of your right butt cheek. We're there in eight. Sitting on your carriage, facing the back. In four, three, two, awesome. So you really have to adjust with this one. So sit on your right butt, okay? Right foot hooks underneath the back platform there. Left foot maybe crosses over. Roll onto your right butt, okay? So that your left oblique is up in the air. And now, lean back with your hands behind your head. Touch your right elbow down to the carriage. And then it's like a little extra crunch, left elbow to the outside of the left knee. And then really adjust yourself, guys. You gotta be intuitive here. You gotta lean back. I'm on the fleshy part of my right butt. Sit up and really side bend. Got to add that little extra side bend as you sit up. Lean back, legs go out. Sit up, crunch. Left elbow to the outside of the left knee. Good, cashew. And then again, roll onto the fleshy part of that right butt, not your right hip bone. That's not going to feel good. Spit your left waist, which is what we're working still, is pointing up. Nice, everyone. Let's go Ooh, 30 more seconds here. And then we're going to go right into the other oblique. You'll be at the back, facing the front. We'll try to get it right this time. <laughs> Giant crooked bear pipe to plank for the right oblique. Feet will be over to the left side of your back platform on the floor. Hands slightly over to the right on the carriage. We're there in five, good, in four, three, two, awesome, everybody. Woo, all right, so feet are in line with your back platform, hands on the carriage, you're over to the left, hands are slightly over to the right. It's just one minute, ready, go. Bend the knees in, kick the legs out, pipe the hips up. You don't really need to think about pointing your knees in any direction when you're in this crooked position, but naturally the knees are probably going to go to that left elbow, okay? Good. 40 seconds here. Left knee stacks on top of the right knee on that back platform. We've got that giant twisted wheel. If you need to be on the elbows, I get it. Good, everybody, in 10. Left knee on top of right knee, hands stay where they're at. In four, three, two, let's do it. Giant twisted wheel. So left knee stacks on top of the right knee, drop the hips, drop the butt, ready? Twisted wheel. Just the hand shift forward. Just the hand shift back. Keeping the hips and the butt down. Right waist is pointing down to the ground. Good. Now in 30 seconds, I'm gonna get it right this time. Hands over to the right side of your back platform on the floor, feet on the carriage. You've got that crooked reverse giant pike to plank bear situation. For the right waist. Good, we're there in five. In four, three, two, awesome everybody. So turn around, face the back, hands to the right side, Okay, and your feet are going to be over to the left. I'm going to take these shorts off, sorry. 
It's getting hot. Woo! It's getting hot. All right. Hands to the right, feet to the left. Ready? And bend it in. Kick it out. Pike it up. Yes, you're crooked. So you're working that right waist. Square the shoulders though, push down even amounts through both hands. Let's go 40 seconds, hands on the back platform for that twisted wheel. Then we're gonna get you seated for that cashew crunch. And then we're gonna head into your first leg. In 20, left knee on top of right knee, hands on the back platform. Good, everybody, in five, four, three, two, awesome. So left knee stacks on top of the right knee. Drop your hips, drop your butt, ready? Twisted wheel. Feel free to hit the elbows if you need to. Even if I fail to mention that, do it, right? You always have the elbows. Good, 45 seconds, you're gonna sit where your knees are, but you're gonna roll over onto the fleshy part of your left butt. So I'll be turned away from you guys. We got that cashew crunch. Get that little side bend. Good, we're there in 15. You really gotta adjust yourself for this next one. Make it feel right for you. In three. Two, let's do it. So sit on your carriage, okay? Roll over onto the fleshy part of your left butt, right on the rail. Left foot hooks underneath of the back platform, right foot crosses over the left maybe. And then roll over onto the left hip even more. Hands behind the head, you're facing out to the left. And now lean back, touch your left elbow towards that rail, and then sit up and add that little side bend Really, really um, exaggerate. Right elbow to the outside of the right knee. Your right oblique is pointing up to the sky and you're really rolled over onto the fleshy part of your left butt cheek, not your hip bone, that will not feel good. Amazing, everybody. Good, again, really exaggerate that side bend crunch at the top. 45 seconds away from starting your right leg first today. You'll be on one red, up to one red, two black. We're gonna start with a side kick. Right foot steps over the front platform onto the floor, left foot to the corner edge of the carriage. It's an isometric hold on the right as you kick with the left. Sort of looks like a skater, but on the floor. We're there in eight. Nice, everyone. In five, four, beautiful. Last three, two, come on down. Woo, all righty. One red, up to one red, two black. Right foot steps over the front platform onto the floor, okay? Left foot to the edge of the carriage. You can step your right over to the right to make it easier. Step the right foot over to the left makes it harder, but you're gonna sit on the right, kick with the left, ready, go. Out slow with that left leg, in slow. The most important thing is that your right hip stays still as that kicking left leg goes out. Left heel, right finagled on the corner edge of the carriage. Yep. Nice, everybody. 
You have 30 seconds. Beautiful. Then you're going to put your left heel in the rail so that it's a little bit lighter. And we're going to go for a straight left leg resist pulse. Sort of like a heavy side lunge. Right booty will resist up and then you'll push it back and down. I would put your left heel down in the eyelet. Right now it's against the edge of the carriage. We're there in three, two, left heel in the eyelet, okay? And now left leg is straight. Resist, straighten your right leg out a little bit and then push it back and down. It's like a heavy side lunge. Up a little on the right. Bend into the right knee a lot, push it back and down. Now you see why the left foot is in the rail and not against the edge, right? Woo! Awesome, guys. Push it back and down. Resist on the way up. 25 seconds, you'll put your left foot back on the edge of the carriage. You'll go back to the side kick. That's it, just 30 more seconds there. In 10. Yes, everybody, in five, four, three, two, left foot back on the edge of the carriage. Sit low, kick it out, bend it in. Keep the weight centered, feeling that right outer thigh. Good, we're gonna stand up on your machine. Feet together on the edges, baby skater. We're there in eight. Feet together on the edges, soft bend in the knees. In four, good, good, three. Two, let's do it. So standing up on your machine, feet together on the edges. Soft bend in the knees, tilt your upper body weight forward. And now it's out a little in a little baby skater. Center up your weight so you're not shifting over to the right at all, okay? In a weird way, you're constantly kicked out with the right leg as you kick out the left leg. Hope that doesn't confuse you, but that's how this is done, right? I'm not leaning to the right. Good, there's a slight bend in the knees. Kind of sticking my butt out a little bit. You might even feel both sides here, that's fine. That's great, it's not wrong. In 40 seconds, we're gonna do some intervals. You're gonna do this same motion, but you're gonna be in a deep squat, low baby skater. Then we'll keep the carriage kicked out. We'll do some squats, low baby, and then back to squats, okay? Get ready. So same action you're doing now, but you're gonna be in a deep squat. You might have to shift a little bit more weight over into the carriage leg for that to work. In three, two, sit low, baby skater in a deep squat. So out a little, in a little, good. 10 seconds, you're gonna hold it out. You're gonna stand up, keeping the carriage still, sit down, squats. In three, two, kick it out, hold it out. All the way up, woo! all the way down. Keep the carriage still. In five, you sit down, back to low baby. Four, three, two, have a seat. Low baby, in a little, out a little, yes. That's it, guys. In four, one more set of squats. Three, two, now kick it out, hold it out all the way up, oh my gosh, all the way down. One black spring, we're headed into a back lunge, guys. In four, three, two, awesome. So one black, left foot hooks in the rail, 
And then your right foot is gonna step over the back platform onto the ground. Ready? All the way down, all the way up. In three, two, let's go. If you need something for balance, grab it. Any little adjustments with your front right foot that you need to make, make it. Good. Slide down into that back lunge. I kind of have my Achilles, my heel, up against the back platform. Good, knee over ankle at the bottom. And then push down to come to the top. That's it. 15 seconds, we hold it down for some carriage kicks. Left knee bends in, left leg kicks out. In four, three, two, hold it at the bottom. And now left knee bends in, left leg kicks out. Yes, 10 seconds, left leg goes out to a straight leg. You pulse your back lunge. In four, three, two, left leg goes straight. Now pulse that right hip up two inches, down two, oh boy. Up two, down two. Back to the carriage kicks in three, two, hold it down. Maybe light touch to the bars, that's fine. Bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out. One more set of those pulses in four, three, two, left leg goes straight, pulse the right hip up two inches, down two, good guys. 10 seconds, we go full range. In five, four, three, two, all the way down, full range of motion, all the way up. 20 seconds. Nice. We're going to hold it down again. Carriage kick dip. Carriage kick dip. In five, four, three, two. Now hold it at the bottom. Bend your left knee in, back to the carriage kicks. Light touch on the bars is totally fine. Kick it out. Now in five, you're gonna hold that left knee in, little dips. Four, three, two, hold the left knee in. Now dip it down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little, that's it. In four, you'll hold it down, back to the carriage kick. Three, two, hold it down, kick the left leg out. Woo, bend the left knee in. That's it, 10 seconds. One more set of those dips. In five, four, three, two, two bent knees, dip it down a little, up a little. Good, we're gonna finish this lunge in full range of motion, you can do it. In four, three, two, left leg goes straight, all the way up. All the way down, amazing. Right foot steps over to the left side of your back platform onto the floor. You can have your foot in the rail however you need to. We've got a reverse side lunge. Last thing on this right leg. We're there in five. Reverse side lunge, guys, in four, three, two. Let's do it. Drama, drama. I'm gonna move my machine over because I'm a little too close to that wall. A little too close. Right foot over to the left. And then you can go heel down on the eyelet, toe up or toe down, whatever feels best, probably for your inner left leg. All the way over in the right leg, all the way down, all the way up. Ready guys? We're gonna do three pulses at the bottom. One full range, let's go. So at the bottom, you give me one pulse. Good, two pulse, that's it. Three pulse, and then all the way up. 
all the way down. And then you do it again, right? One pulse. Good. Two pulse. Woo. Three pulse. And then all the way down. All the way up. Oh, mama. Good. You got 45 seconds here. Then we hold it down for carriage kicks. Then we're just going to do one minute of kneeling in our thighs before we head into your abs. Really sit the weight back into that right leg. One pulse, two pulse, good, three pulse, and then all the way up, all the way down. In 15, you're going to hold it at the bottom. Carriage kicks. Nice. In five, four, three, two. Now hold it down. Bend your left knee in. Kick your left leg out. That's it, guys. Bend it in. I'm going to lose the carriage here. <laughs> Kick it out. Awesome. Let's go 15 seconds. Right knee on the back platform, left knee on the carriage. Kneeling inner thighs. Ooh, mama, I'm sweating. We're there in five. Good, in four, three, two. Awesome. Woo. All right, guys, let's do it. Kneeling inner thighs, left knee on the carriage, right knee on the back platform. Just one minute here. It's a two-sided exercise. We will do this on the other side too, though. You know me. Out slow. And then use both inner thighs. Bring the carriage into the back platform. Squeeze it in. Good. Out for a slow four to five count. Keep your weight centered. And then zip it in. Yes. Good work. Let's go 30 seconds. At the front, facing the back. Whew. Or actually, let's start at the back. Elbows on the back platform since we're back here. Knees on the carriage. We're going to do a reverse giant crunch, but we're going to do three pulses at the top. Okay, we're there in three, two, let's do it. So elbows on your back platform, knees on the carriage. You're gonna give me one pulse, two pulse, three pulse at the top of that crunch, knees out, knees in, ready? First ab exercise of the day, let's do it. Knees go out, exhale, round it up like a cat and then pulse it near that number three, one pulse, Two pulse really round it up. Three pulse really round it up. And then knees go out. And then knees go in, do it again. One pulse really round it up. Two pulse. Good, three pulse. Knees go out. Knees come in. That's it. Good, really look up at the belly button on those pulses, right? Hips and butt over the knees at the top. Awesome, let's go 35 seconds with this. Then we're gonna do a saw with your hips down. Saw with your hips up a little higher. Saw with your hips up even higher and then back down, back up, back up. Good. We're there in 15. Knees go out, they stay out. In four, three, two. Knees go out, they stay out. Drop the hips, drop the butt, normal. Now just the shoulders shift back, just the shoulders shift forward. 
Yes, just keep the hips still wherever we have them. In four, hips go up a little higher, same thing. Three, two, hips up a little higher, keep them there, same saw. That's it. In five, hips go up even higher. Four, three, two, hips up even higher. Keep them there, it looks wrong, but it feels right. Ooh, that makes it harder, right? You just gotta keep the hips still. In four, hips go back down. Three, two, hips back down to starting position, soft. Yes. Ooh, boy. In four, hips up a little higher, keep them there. Three, two, hips up a little higher, go. Yes, guys. Five, hips up even higher. Four, three, two, hips up even higher. Keep them there. Saw back, saw forward. Awesome. We're coming to the front, facing the back. One black or zero springs advanced. It's a reverse bear pike to plank roll out. In three, two, come to the front. You're still facing the back. One black or zero springs. Feet on the floor, hands on the carriage. You're gonna go reverse bear first, lift the hips up into a pike to plank, extend out. Just follow me, ready? Bend the knees in underneath of the hips. Hold them there, pike the hips up, and then roll out into that plank. I'm gonna put my feet on the platform, it feels a little bit better. Bend the knees in, lift, and then roll it out into that plank. Yes, bend the knees in, hold them in. Booty up in the air, keep the heels high, carriage still. And then the carriage moves as you roll out. Good guys, 60 seconds here. And we're gonna alternate a saw on the elbows and the knees with a saw on the elbows and toes. You'll just alternate one and then the other. It'll kind of look like nothing is happening, though you'll really feel something happening. Feet will be on the floor when you do the saw on your toes, and then your knees will be on the front platform when you do the saw on the knees. We're there in 20. Elbows on the carriage, knees on the front platform first. Good, in eight. Beautiful, guys, in four, three, two, let's do it. So, elbows down, knees down. You do one saw, ready? Saw forward on the knees, saw back. Toes down, lift the knees up, saw, saw. Knees down, saw. So, knees up, good. So part of the work is going down and up without lifting the hips and butt. Yeah, so it's a lot of low abs. Ooh, it's tough. Knees down, knees up. Just try to keep the hips and the butt down as you make that transition. Forty seconds, and then we're gonna hit wheelbarrows all over the world. <sighs> Starting right here, knees down, hands up. We'll be in every wheelbarrow that exists on this machine for forty-five seconds. Good. In fifteen. Nice, everybody. In five, four, three, two, awesome. So knees down, hands up, wheelbarrow, first one. Ready, reverse. Just the hand shift forward, and then just the hand shift back. 
Good, chin is off the chest, throat is open. You got 30 seconds and we're gonna head to the back, facing the back, reverse giant wheelbarrow. One black spring if you're at the back, right? In 15. And again, if you need to do one of them on your elbows, do it. In four, three, two, let's go. One black, if you're not already there. If you're not already there, I don't want to confuse you. You could have been on one black that whole time. That's wonderful. Ready? Reverse giant wheel. Hinge back. Pull yourself forward. Button hips stay down, tailbone stays tucked under. Good, 30 seconds, your knees go where your hands are. Hands where your knees are. Giant wheelbarrow. In five, four, three, two, switchy. This switch is the hardest. <laughs> Knees on the back platform, hands out on the carriage. Ready? Drop hips, drop butt. Slow. Take the hands out. Slowly bring the hands in. Nice and slow. Hips and butt down. You're going to come to the front, face the front, keep the one black, or go zero springs at the front to make it harder. Last wheelbarrow that exists on this machine. And then we're going to do that bear pike to plank rollout again. And then those alternating saws again to finish out your abs. And then we're going to head into your left leg. In five. At the front, face the front. Four, three, two. Let's do it. Stay on one block or go zero springs to make it harder. Ready? Go for it. Classic wheel. Hinge back, pause. Hinge forward. So good. 30 seconds. Your toes are going to be where your hands are. Hands where your knees are. This time, actually, we're going to reverse it. So we're going to do the pike to plank. Hold the hips up high, bend the knees down, then kick the legs out. So we're going to kind of reverse that roll out. I know it's a lot on the wrist here. Hang in there. You could always do this from the elbows. Three, two, let's do it. I just, I don't have problems with my wrists. I have more problems with my shoulders. So that's why I do a lot on the hands but you do what you gotta do, right? Hands up, toes up, ready. Let's start with that pike to plank first. Ready, three, two, hit it. So pike first this time. Keep the butt up, bend the knees down to the rail, then kick the legs out. Yes. Pike, heels high. Keep the carriage there. Bend your knees down towards the rail. And then kick it out. So we're like you're rolling yourself out. 60 seconds. We're going to do that alternating saw on the knees, toes, knees, toes, knees, toes, knees, toes. That is your last 90 seconds of center core. Then we're going to get into that left leg. And then you're done. In 30, elbows down, knees down. In 10. In five, four, three, two, 
Woo, all right guys. 90 seconds of abs, let's do it. Elbows down, knees down, one saw on the knees, one saw on the toes. Ready, hit it. Alternate saw on the knees, toes down, knees up, saw on the toes. Just try not to lift the hips and butt. That's part of the work. Honestly, the work is the transition from lifting up and lowering down, okay? Oh yeah, 60 seconds, then we're gonna hit that side kick on the left. One red, up to one red, two black. Good, let's go 30 more seconds. Woo! Abs are on fire. Left foot on the front on the floor in front of the front platform. Right foot on the edge of the carriage. And then when we go to that like straight leg pulse, you'll put your foot will be in the rail. Good. Unless, of course, you don't need it against the rail. Three, two, let's do it. Woo! All right, guys. One red up to what one, one red, two black. Left foot on the floor in front of your front platform. Over to the left, easier, into the right, harder. Okay? Right heel on the edge of the carriage. Get a good grip. Okay? You're going to sit on the left. Kick with the right, keep the left hip still. Ready, hit it. Out slow with the right leg, in slow. Good, as you bend that right knee and really keep that left side of your body still, that's part of the outer thigh activation. Now in 35 seconds, you're just gonna put your right heel down in the eyelet, pretty close to where it is now. Keeping the right leg straight, it's like a heavy side lunge pulse. We're there in 15. Good, everybody, in five. Four, three, two, awesome. Now put your heel in the eyelet so that it's light enough for you to keep the right leg straight. And now push your booty back and down with a little momentum and speed, then resist it up. So it looks like I'm in a side lunge. Push it back and down, use your outer thigh to do that. Resist on the way up. Yes. Scoot your feet around as needed. Drama as you come down. Resist that drama as you come up. Yes. 30 seconds and your right foot heel, rather, is going to go back to the edge of the carriage. Back to side kick. Really bend into that left knee a lot. Resist to the top. In 10, good, back to your side kick, right heel to the edge. In four, three, two, right foot, heel to the edge of the carriage. Go for it, out slow, in slow. Amazing, keep your weight centered. We're going baby skater, guys, in 15. Feet together on the edges, little bend in the knees. In eight. Good, in four. Three, two, awesome, stand it up. Bring your feet together, right up on those edges. 
Soft bend in the knees and then tilt your upper body forward a little bit. Ready? Out a little, keep your weight centered in a little. So you're never really shifting to the left. Relax the upper body. Push down and out with both feet. Good. And again, we're never leaning to the left. Forty five seconds. And you're going to do the same thing you're doing now, but in a low squat, low baby skater. Then we'll do squats, low baby skater, squats. In 20, same thing you're doing now, but you'll be in a deep squat. In eight. Good, in four. Three, two, oh boy, here we go. Lean into that right carriage leg a little bit more with this, this low squat baby skater. Yeah, so you kind of have to like sway a little bit. In five, you kick it out, hold it out, all the way up, all the way down, four. Three, two, kick it out, hold it out. This is the hardest part. All the way up, keep the carriage still. All the way down, keep the carriage still. Oh boy. In four, back to low baby. Three, two, sit low, low baby. In a little, out a little. Yes, guys, 10 seconds. You hold it out again one more time for those squats. In five, then we're headed to the back. Four, three, two, oh boy. All the way up, all the way down, yes. You got one black for a back lunge. Coming up in five. Woo, four, three, two, oh. Oh my gosh, okay, that's done. One black spring, guys. Right foot hooks in the rail, left foot steps over the back platform onto the floor. Ready? In three, in two, and hit it. Sorry, my timer was about to go off. I don't know why. Oh, wild. All the way up, all the way down. I've got my, kind of my left heel up against that back platform. That feels good for me but you do what you gotta do here. Just make sure that you haven't set yourself up on a tightrope. So widen your stance out. Make sure your left knee lands over the ankle at the bottom of your lunge. Thirty seconds. We're gonna go carriage kick, pulse, carriage kick, pulse. In eight, at the bottom, carriage kicks. In four, three, two, hold it down, maybe light touch to those bars. Bend the right knee in, kick the right leg out. Just try not to sink into your left hip. In four, right leg goes straight, pulse the lunge. Three, two, right leg goes straight, now pulse that left lunge, up a little down. Up a little down, yes. Back to the carriage kick in four, three, two, hold it down, bend the right knee in, kick it out. Woo! You're gonna go back to that pulse in five, four, three, two, right leg goes straight, pulse it up two down two. Good guys. We're going to make this pulse bigger 
and go back to full range of motion in five, four, three, two, all the way down, all the way up. Oh boy. All right, guys, you've got carriage kick, dip, carriage kick, dip coming up next. We're there in 10. Right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. In four, three, two, hold it down. Now right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. Amazing. In five, we're going for those dips. In four, three, two, right knee holds in. Now dip it down a little. Up a little, ooh. Eight seconds, you're back to the carriage kicks. Ooh boy, in four, three, two, hold it down, kick your right leg out. Bend your right knee in, yes guys. One more set of those dips. Coming up, in four. Beautiful, three, two bent knees, dip it down a little. Up a little good. Eight seconds, you go back to full range. One more time. In four, good. Three, two, right leg straight. All the way up, all the way down. Let's go, guys. 30 seconds, you've got that reverse side lunge. Left foot steps over to the right side of your back platform. Facing out. It'll be three pulses at the bottom, one full range of motion to the top. In eight. Good. In four. Three. Two. Let's do it. Woo! All right. Hello. Heel down, toe up, or toe down. It's up to you. Whatever feels best, just be careful getting set up. How I just got set up is probably not the greatest example. <laughs> Ready? All the weight in the left leg. Three pulses at the bottom. Come to the top. Ready? Three, two, let's go. You give me one pulse. Two pulse. Good. Three pulse. Take your time. And then all the way up all the way down. One pulse, two pulse. Good, really push into that left foot. Three pulse, all the way up, all the way down. Yes, booty really goes back and down. Like you're trying to sit on the bar behind you if you've got those bars. Thirty more seconds here. We'll hold it down for those carriage kicks. You might have to arrange your right foot differently for that to work. Then we finish this class in that kneeling inner thigh. Eight to seven. Sometimes. <laughs> here we go. In fifteen. Yes, you hold it down, right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. In five, four, three, two, hold it down. Now bend your right knee in, carriage kick, kick your right leg out. Really sit the weight back into that left leg. Awesome, last minute of class, guys. Right knee on the carriage, left knee on the back platform, kneeling in her thighs. Ooh. We're there in 10. Sit a little lower, kick a little slower. Yes, last five. Kneeling in four, three, two. Let's do it, last minute. Woo, last minute. Right knee on the carriage, left knee on the platform. 
Center up your weight. This is two sides. We're just special and get to do it twice. Ready, stand up tall, out slow, and then zip your knees together, spiral up to the sky, in slow. Center up the weight, out, and then zip it in. Good. Ooh, really squeeze that big part into that little part. You got it. Let's go 30 seconds left. We let it go. Mm -hmm. In 15. Nice, everybody. Last 10. This is it. You got five, four, three, two. Oh, wow. So good today, everybody. You did it. I will see you when I see you next. Good job.